Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Cool. Okay, everyone stand up. Just stand up. All right, so if you were here yesterday morning, what I asked you to do was to, to rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 in terms of weirdness. This morning, uh, we'll do something a little bit different, maybe a bit more exciting. What I want you to do is turn to your right and tell the person next to you what you think the most exciting thing that you've seen in tech is in the last year. So introduce yourself and then talk about the most exciting thing you've seen in the last year. One minute. Let's start shouting things out. What have you guys seen? What's really exciting? The beer drones. The beer drones. Quite cool, hey? So what's that? That's, that's uh, remote, sorry, mobile tech. It's GPS, uh, helicopter, yeah. and then dropping beer. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. What else? Augmented reality. Augmented reality. Where have you seen that? After you drank the beer. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Uh, what else, guys? What else? What else have you seen? Hey? Brick from, brick, brick from Kenya. That's very exciting, right? That could unlock continents. What else? Bitcoin. Really? You think so? Okay. I suppose with America shutting down, everyone needs a currency, right? <laughs> okay. So Bitcoin. So what else? 3D printing. 3D printing. Have you guys seen the video of the rubber hand yet? Okay. So outside later, we're going to have a guy who lost his hands, he's a, he's a tradesman, he lost his fingers, sorry, in, in, in an accident, and he ended up using a 3D printer to create a new hand for himself, and then he open sourced that and started finding ways to help other people around the world with that technology. I think that's amazing. Um, so we've got some 3D printers outside, plus he's going to be out there, um, and he's going to be speaking, so like, that's a very, very inspirational story. And more importantly, it's how you can leverage tech and open source to do really cool things. So what else? Must be something, guys. Who's doing really cool stuff in like corporate world? Uh, why does battery problem? That's pretty cool. Yeah, everyone has a battery problem. What else? Can't hear you. Okay, we've just been talking about that. Keep up 3D scanner printer, right? <laughs> okay, what else? Geofencing. Geofencing, what's that? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that called spamming? <laughs> it's opt-in. Okay, all right, fantastic. Okay, so you guys are kind of getting an idea for what people are thinking about. And in a lot of ways, that's what Tech for Africa is about, is trying to figure out what's new and what's emerging, what's happening, and trying to get people to come along on that journey. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about a couple things quickly, and then we'll get straight to it. So the first thing is, thanks to our sponsors. So if you look on the, the walls and on the, the, the kind of displays here, you'll see a whole lot of sponsors. Tech for Africa takes a lot of work. I'll talk about that just now. Um, but it's not possible without the sponsors. So could everybody just give them a round of applause and say thank you. <laughs> it's really important. Um, and it's helping us build an ecosystem. And that's kind of, I think, what we're about now, is trying to build an ecosystem. Um, and you can't build an ecosystem in isolation. It takes a bunch of people to help you out and to do that. Secondly, where's Zinia? Can everyone just turn around and look at that awesome person over there? Raise your hand again, that you can't see behind the light. That's Zinia. Without Zinia, this wouldn't happen either. So can everyone put their, their hands together for her? <laughs> so the next thing is, thank you very much for trusting us with your time. Um, most of us are busy. Most of us have got lots of things to do. Uh, to take a day or two days out of the office is a, is a big ask. Um, but you're here, and hopefully today we'll give you some good content and give you things to go back to the office with and be inspired with. Um, I was speaking to a bunch of people last night, and some of them said that they're going to adapt their processes in their company based on some of the agile talks we had yesterday. So for me, that's a win, right? So if we can all get better at doing stuff because we hear new things from different people, then collectively we're all going to get better, and that's going to help build the ecosystem faster. So I think it's really important for me to get across that we really value that you're here and that you give us your time and you trust us with that. And hopefully each year we'll get better and better and you'll be able to trust us more and more. And in a couple of years' time, it'll be fantastic. And we'll be able to build a really nice ecosystem. Okay, next thing. Um, there's an e-commerce developer challenge, which is happening in the room over there. Um, there's a feedback session at 11 o'clock. 
If anybody's interested in joining that, please join that session at 11 o'clock. Um, the guys are going to talk to you about that and, and kind of figure out the next steps. Um, next thing is the Wi-Fi is a little bit spotty. Who's had problems with that? Everyone. Did you come prepared like a scout? All right, fantastic. So what I've asked the guys to do is to put more access points in here so we can handle more traffic. But secondly, please use one device at a time. Don't put three devices onto the network because that just overloads it for everybody. Okay, so if you've got a tablet or a phone or a computer, just use one device. That'll mean that there's less connections to the access point and therefore the, hopefully everything will be better for everybody else. All right, so last two points. Um, this year we, um, we made it possible for people to submit their speaker talks. How many of you submitted a speaker talk that are here now? Okay, so there's actually not that many of you. We had about 100 submissions in the space of about two months, and we got 3,500 votes. So for me, that was quite a, uh, an important thing to do because it opened up the ability for us to figure out what people want to hear in the community, but also who has something to say. So what I want to encourage you to do is when you go back to the office, think about what you want to submit next year, because we're going to be opening up submissions in about two weeks. Um, and I really want to encourage everybody to submit something. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, Everybody's got something to share. So make a submission. Um, the, the, the form will go live in about two weeks. And then tell your friends and get them to submit too. Let's try and ramp that up to 300, 400 submissions and try and get five, six, ten thousand 10,000 votes. So we, next year we can have even better content. And seven rooms instead of five. So everyone's got something to listen to. Okay, can we all commit to that? Fantastic. Lastly, have fun. Ask some good questions. Enjoy the day. Tweet a lot. And have a lot of fun. That's what it's about, right? If everybody has fun, Everybody's going to enjoy it together. Okay, so a round of applause for everybody. Thank you for being here. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>